Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will attach a tree view control as well as a vertical scroll bar. Load the tree view with a bunch of line data and then make sure the scroll bar works correctly. Now, there are three layout type managers, pack, place, and grid. This video only uses the grid layout. This is a preview of what the output of this program will do. Notice we have a TK Enter application. Uh, we have a scroll bar. I have removed the max and min button. I have I've added a tree view control with three columns. I've added a canvas that this sits inside and notice that I was able to get a scroll bar working for this data. Let's begin. Let's import TK enter as TK. And then from TK enter, we're going to import NS canvas scroll bar and TTK. On line five, uh, comment, create an instance of TK enter. So what we're gonna say is root equals TK dot capital T little k, open and close parentheses. That's gonna be our main object. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the window geometry at 808 by 500, and then our title will be scroll bar. I'm gonna set the background color to light blue. I'm gonna make it fixed size, so we're gonna set it zero, zero, and then I'm going to turn off the min and max buttons by using line 19. And then root.main keeps our program running. Let's save this and let's run it. Let's see what happens. You will notice that we have our scroll bar title. We have turned off the min and max button. It is not resizable. And we are ready to add our control. On line 21, I have a comment, create tree view layout with scroll bar. Notice the name of my return value is TV tree view layout equals, here's a method that we have to write, create TV tree view layout, and I'm gonna pass in root. Root, we defined up here on line six. Let's do this line 22. On line 27, create TV layout. This is a function that we have to write. So what we do is we define. Now here's my name of my method, four spaces over. So I'm saying canvas equals TK canvas container. Well, we know container is root. On line 10, I'm gonna declare a variable Y scroll bar equals TTK scroll bar. Make sure you put a little B there, then canvas. And then my orientation is going to be a vertical. So this is going to be something that goes from the top to the bottom. We're then going to drop in our tree view control. Notice we're still using canvas. And now I'm saying Y scroll command equals Y scroll bar. Y scroll bar we defined on line 10. Then say set. Notice we got three columns. That gives us tree. This video will be using the grid layout. Notice we're saying grid, row zero, column zero, row span 10, column span three. Here you can see we're defining three columns. The first one is fixed length, it's 50. And then we have our ID, first name, last name. Everything will be anchored to the left or we had to add enough data to this tree view control so we could actually see the scrolling. Notice that I have 19 lines of data and we'll be seeing the first 10 of them up in our tree view control and you'll see that there are dupes in here all i did was copy the data over on line 45 let's configure the scroll bars command to the tree view controls y view now the tree views y view is a method for connecting a vertical scroll bar to the scrollable widget let's apply the grid function to the vertical scroll bar return canvas. Now notice this return value actually comes into the variable TV tree view layout. And now we got the return value tree view TV layout. I'm now going to say TV layout grid call zero row zero. That right there should display our form for us. Then we're back to root.main loop and you know how that works. Let's save this and see how it works. And there you have it. Remember we had our title bar, scroll bar. We turned off the min and max. We then used a canvas to place our tree view control on it. We put in our three columns. We loaded it with sample data. We attached our scroll bar and this app is all done. And there you have it team, connecting the vertical scroll bar to a tree view control and using the grid layout manager. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them below. I hope I answered your questions about using that grid layout manager and scroll bar. See you back in my next video. Adiós.